pissed on, dude. Get pissed on. Doesn't make sense. The Basilisk is the only revolver in Modern Warfare 2, and it does the second highest damage out of all the pistols in the game. The best Basilisk class setup I have made today is a big iron with a sniper scope, shout out to Marty Robbins. Before we take a look at those attachments, I post class setups and other Call of Duty videos to this channel daily. It would mean a lot to me if you would consider leaving a like and subscribing down below, but let's look at the class, boys and girls. We normally start with my secondary, but today's video is on a secondary, so we're gonna start with my primary. This is just on my TAC-56 class. The TAC-56 is just the standard pro build. There are no tunings on any of these attachments. We have the Demo Clean Shot Grip, the TVX Line Pro Stock, the 17 and a half inch Tundra Pro Barrel, the FSS Shark Fin 90 Under Barrel, and the Saken Tread 40 Muzzle. The rest of the class is pretty standard. The Tactical Stun Grenade, the Lethal Semtex, Perk Package 1 is Double Time Battle Hard and Fast Hands Quick Fix, the field upgrades are Dead Silence and Munitions Box. And now on to the Big Iron, the Basilisk. Starting with the Laser Slot, the only attachment that has no tuning. I have on the Corvus LZR-790 laser. This is the Aim Down Sight and Aiming Stability laser. You can make an argument, and if you want to use the other laser, this is the Revo LSD-7 MW laser. Because this is a pistol, you're going to be using this thing really close range. Aim Down Sight Speed and Hip Recoil kind of accomplish the same goal. Personally, I just like the Aim Down Sight Speed with the scope I have on a little bit more, but honestly, like I said, they kind of accomplished the same thing. And since I just mentioned it, we will talk about the optic next, the Corio RV500 optic. This is the only sniper-ish scope available for the Basilisk, so that is what the build I was going for is, so it's the one I am using. We are basically just making a super duper varmint hunting rifle style revolver. All we're getting here is 4.8 magnification. We're losing some aim down sight speed, some aim walking movement speed, but that doesn't really matter. We're still completely maxed out with handling attachments from here on out. For the tuning, we have it maxed out for aim down sight speed in the far eye position. Coming down to the rear grip, I have on the SORO99 grip. This is pistol fast draw, sprint to fire speed, and aim down sight speed with a little bit of a hit to our recoil control, but it's a revolver, it's a pistol, the recoil is fine, just time your shots. The rest of the grips basically don't do anything. The akimbo grip, while fun, not what we're looking for with this particular build. The flinch resistance grip, again, not really valuable for what we're doing and the recoil control grip basically pointless for what we're doing and then just doubling down on what the grip is already doing maxed out for aim down sight speed and sprint to fire speed for the trigger action i'm using the bryson match grid trigger because it has the best balance between fire rate and handling the bryson hta trigger has the best fire rate but the handling goes down so that's basically what we're trying to accomplish here and then i also have it maxed out for aim down sight speed and sprint to fire speed and then finally for the barrel we have on the 10 and a half inch FTAC arrow barrel. This is damage range, hip fire, accuracy, movement speed, and bullet velocity. I don't think I need to explain why all of those things are good for a revolver and what we're trying to accomplish here. It is also the only barrel that offers anything in the realm of plus two damage range. And then coming into the barrel tuning, I have it maxed out for recoil steadiness and damage range. So if you want to go for like the trolley sniper build of the Basilisk Revolver, these are kind of the five attachments you need with the exception of the option of the different lasers if you want to try them out. If you just want to mess around with a fun gun that's a little something different just to try out in pubs, go for this build. But if we want to be completely transparent for a second, we're going to get super serious. And by that, I mean not very serious, but I will be honest with you. In terms of just a practical secondary i just don't think it's the best option you could run as a secondary it's just fun to use and mess around with but i think the deagle is a better option i think the x12 is a better option i think the x13 is a better option you're picking up what i'm putting down this thing fun to use not very practical just as a secondary in modern warfare 2 but don't let what i just said deter you from trying it out because like i said many times it's very fun you can have a fun time using it so with that said do give this thing a try come back to the comments and let me know if you had a fun time using it. If you've made it this far into the video, the code phrase if you had a fun time using it is going to be yeehaw in the comments. If you want to show support to the channel, the easiest way to do that is just to leave a like down below and subscribe if you have not already. Boys and girls, I'll talk to you in tomorrow's video. A pizza.
Yeah, there's no way I didn't get that third kill, but I ate. He's window. How did he spawn behind me? Like, right behind me? That's so... Raven. Yeah, I would love to shoot MW2 sometime this, this year. Like, before the next game comes out that I have to pay 70 bucks for. I don't- how is he not one shot? I- Whatever. Better than me. Basilisk is the trolliest gun known to mankind. Why? Why leave now? Come on, Infinity Ward, fill the lobby up. Do, do something good for once. If I was queuing for this lobby, I would be put into this show. That's all I'm saying, Infinity Ward, but I get it. Whatever, did I at least get like the 9.0 KD so I can clickbait it? Nope, I suck.